Our top story, Albany's mayor now saying that she wants to dance with a developer proposing a casino in East Greenbush, maybe. Today she announced a possible deal that would earmark $11 million for economic development in Albany over 10 years. But at the same time, she's not ruling out, at least not publicly, further communication with developers in the city of Rensselaer, another place where a casino could be built. Craig Smith is in our Albany newsroom tonight, live with more on a tentative deal based on a yet-to-be-approved project. Craig. Ed Dory, well, the mayor in Albany, Kathy Sheehan, says this agreement is non-exclusive. She's free to find a better deal. The mayor in Rensselaer says today's announcement took him by surprise. Investments in our downtown, investments in our neighborhoods. The mayor was joined by her counterpart from East Greenbush and the head of marketing for Saratoga Casino and Raceway, the people behind the proposed Capital View Casino and Resort. The idea is for the casino to give a million dollars a year to the nonprofit group that works on economic development for Albany. Sheehan says the group also promises to help Albany residents get jobs at the casino. So it's not just a matter of additional revenue that goes into operations, but we have to be able to invest in the future of the city and to invest in growth and economic development downtown. A few hours after the announcement, the East Greenbush Planning Board got its first brief overview of the project. Sheehan's deal would not require Common Council approval, but the council president believes the support is there. She wants assurances it will put unemployed people of color to work. The way it reads, it says those members of the community who are a member of the union will have an opportunity to get construction jobs. Historically, African Americans in the, in the capital region are not members of the unions. A proposal in Rensselaer would mean a hard rock cafe as part of a resort. The mayor there offered Albany a million dollars a year for 10 years, but Mayor Sheehan says it was less of an offer and more like a set of terms. I I continue to extend an invitation to Rensselaer to get more specific. It's not just in this um, venue, but since we started this discussion and with um, uh, the uh, council resolution that was taken up at the last council meeting, uh, throughout all of that, we have been reaching out and inviting Rensselaer to provide us with specifics. And well, tonight, the mayor is saying she will possibly listen to the mayor in Rensselaer if he comes up with something more. The mayor there in Rensselaer, Dan Dwyer, told me that this took him by surprise, said she and didn't tell him that she had a better offer. But he wished her well, and he said he would be on conference calls tomorrow weighing his options. He said even if the casino gets built in Rensselaer, his city will still support Albany and recommend its hotels and restaurants. A council member, Frank Camisso, tonight, Frank Camisso Jr., said he'd like to see the money go for tax relief. And the mayor says it's critical to grow the city's tax base. She likened using this amount of money, spreading a million dollars a year across the entire city of Albany. She likened that to bailing out a boat while you're ignoring the gaping hole, as she put it. She says both have to be done at the same time. She wants to see the economic development go hand in hand. In Albany, Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.